Let's, let's see. Let's get a good look at it. Yeah, his eyes gone. It's time to take a seat. Fish old man style. Welcome back to another episode of Be Fishing, everybody. How are y'all doing? This episode is sponsored by Catchco, the company over Shop Carl's, Mystery Tackle Box, Biospawn, 10,000 Fish, you name it, they got it. Go ahead, hit the link in the description below, pick you up some baits in a Shop Carl's. Save yourself 30% off. All right, so we are loading up. As you can see, Hopefully you can see, we've got the rods, we've got several rods. Not really gonna need all those, I don't think, but just in case. But more importantly, this box right here just came in the mail and it contains baits that were just released to the public. Some brand new baits from Shop Carl's. Uh, got them at 30% off because I'm a Shop Carl's member. Now I just got my hands on those baits. However, if you were a Shop Carl's member, they were available about a month ago. So you could have had those baits in your hands catching fish a month ago. Just click the link in the description, join Shop Carl, save yourself 30% and get access to some of these baits early. Now I'm gonna take you, hopefully, Lord willing, to tomorrow morning, when we're on the boat, we're gonna crack that box open. I'll show you what I got. And uh, we're going finesse fishing, boys. We're gonna do some finesse fishing for some giant toad bass. Let's do it. In the rain. No less. All right, a couple of baits that have literally just released to the public is what I'm gonna fish with. Look at these guys. We've got the gridiron jigs, football jigs. I've got, what is this, peanut butter and jelly. That is a classic color. Then I've also got rotten melon, I believe this is what this is. No, rotten pumpkin, excuse me, not rotten melon. That's obviously brown. So we've got <laughs> the PB&J, the rotten, pumpkin then i've also got some finesse jigs the lil juicies uh you gotta say lil you know because my rap game's super strong uh and i've got this one in green pumpkin right here and then i've also got okeechobee which is probably my favorite color jig okeechobee crawl is probably i mean just that one does it for me it gives me it gives me tinglys downstairs do i it's, it's just a little juicy. It's a little juicy, Chris. It's little. We've also got some amazing baits. Um, Carl's amazing baits here. And I've got some Hoss Crawl, Texas Crawl. That will probably pair really well with that uh, bruised pumpkin. Uh, da, 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 da. What is this one? This is green pumpkin. Obviously, I can trim that down a lot and put that on my finesse jig, but that one may be too big. But for the finesse jig, I've got these guys, which will also go with the Okeechobee Crawl as well. It's like a uh, pumpkin blue. It's a really, really good color. Um, that'll fit on there really, really well. Got a little bit of phalange, should kick pretty well. And I've also got some other stuff, obviously, in the big old, the big old box over there. I've got some other trailers that we can use for these jigs. I'm probably gonna be jig fishing most of the day. Chris is gonna be using the Scout. We've also got some A-rigs with some Exo Swims, which have worked clearly in the past. Um, if it's a moving bite, we got a moving stuff. If it's a if it's a bottom bite, we've got those too. They are schooling here. Um, if y'all saw the mystery tackle box video where we mystery tackle box slam video, uh, they're schooling here pretty well. So let's get freaking into it. I may go finesse jig. If you're fishing that one, I'm gonna go a little a little juicy. I think it should be a very natural look. The Okeechobee color for sure is going to get this Carl's amazing baits. I think that's either, I think it's green pumpkin blue is what the actual color is. One of the neat features I like about these jigs, double hook keepers, or double bait keepers, excuse me. You got that nice little bait keeper right there, that wire bait keeper, and then we've also got it molded into the lid right there. So. It should hold our bait nice and snug up against the jig head. Purdy. I like that a lot. It's a nice little finesse jig. We're going to set that to the side. A little juicy. 
should have named it Little Morsel because that's what it's going to be in. One last thing that I think is really cool about these uh, Guggen Squad baits, which I don't know why nobody else has done this. This is crazy why no one else has done this. Right there on the bottom, I don't know if y'all can see it, it's printed with the weight that it is. So this is a 5 16 ounce. They do the same thing with their crankbaits, telling you how deep they are, how deep divers they are. They just paint it right on the bottom. I mean, why has no one else done that? That's like a genius, simple move for everybody who questions, okay, what size is this? Is this a half ounce? Is this, what, what is this? And I'm fishing with just slightly over a quarter ounce, little juicy jig. All right, I'm hoping this is the last time I ever have to dub over a video. And throughout this video, you will hear some popping from my microphone as it goes in and out. And it will come back later on in this clip. But what I've basically done is I've thrown this the Juicy Jig right over a little rock flat right here. Um, and I'm dragging it. And I feel what feels like a leaf is on it. Like there's just a little bit of pressure, but not an actual fish bite that I thought. And about right here, I realized, nope, this is a fish. And I very gingerly set the hook. Not a very good hook set. Um, and I'm going to jump over to Chris's audio and he's going to pick it up from here for me. A little juice, got some juice. Yeah, he's big. I saw he's him. Big. Just work it slow, work it slow. Let him, let him pull a little bit. Just keep nice pressure. Oh, yeah, that's juicy. Oh, I don't want to go under her. All right, I'm pulling him back. Got her. Woo! Yeah, baby. A little a juicy, little, got some juice. A little juicy jig. That is nice one, Brett. Little, Woo, hang on. Little juicy Use those muscles. Woo, woo. The juice got juiced. Look at that. A little juicy. He wanted the little juicy jig in Okeechobee, which is probably, again, my favorite jig color. My goodness. He's a fatty, too. He's nice he, was, he was not going anywhere. He's right on that yeah. jaw. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to need some forceps here. That's, that's, uh, that's over five pounds right there. You Gotta think? be. Oh, yeah. That gut, she's five easy. Oh, yeah. A little juicy jig. Slip that down. Oh. Let's, let's see her. Let's get a good look at her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Am I recording? Please tell me I'm recording. I'm yes, sir. All right. Huh? I've got your. I've always got your back. And there's. Let's see here. That's right. Five even. Five even. Let's flip that around. Let's see that. About four nine five. So yeah, roughly five. Cause this thing only goes in tenths. It goes in point oh fives. Ready? Yep. We're gonna call that in a five right there. A five yonder on the juicy jig. How close was she to the She wasn't. She was actually right under the boat. I was pulling it in, and I thought I had a leaf or something, cause I felt a little bit of weight, but it wasn't your normal jig bite where they. I mean, she, she just inhaled it. And once I realized, hey, this is a little more than weight, I set the hook very gingerly. Like, it was like an old school Brett hook set. All right, little juicy. We got the old little juicy christened in the boat. Huh? How many fish you caught now? It's got to be four or five. So for all y'all keeping score at home, if you, if you saw the last video that we ran or shot on this body of water, which was today, the biggest fish have been caught on a drop shot, which is a finesse bait, small little finesse bait, a finesse jig, and now the little juicy, which is also a finesse jig. Um, I mean, I'm just telling you, if you don't think you can catch big fish on finesse bait, you're totally wrong. The whole idea of big bait, big fish, yes, is true. You can only catch, usually, typically, only catch big fish on big baits because they're the only things that can ingest it. Every now and then you'll get a little one that's, that's just absolutely absurd. But even these small baits, these small little presentations can catch the bigs too. Sometimes it can entice them when they don't want to eat. As you saw, that girl right there was massive. She had a massive stomach on her. so. I know she's eating well, it's just sometimes those little finesse baits can uh, really trigger the, the bite when they don't want to. Uh, no. Look at him lifting the three pounder out. 
Woo! On the juicy jig. Just going through your eye. You're missing an eye. Yeah, his eye's gone. I didn't do it. That's a spider bash right there. That's them all. What a nice little spot. All right, buddy, you're going to the live well too. He's a good little three. Juicy jig yanking them in. That was definitely a spotted bass bite too. I mean, he just came up and like, it's like I could almost see it happening. He came up and picked it up and ran. He didn't inhale it like those large mouths do and start swimming with it. I mean, he just picked it up and freaking took off with it. I didn't even have time to set the hook. I just, just reeled. Time to take a seat, fish old man style. Don't act like y'all's papa didn't sit in the back of a boat fishing a worm like this. That's pretty good. It looks like it's got rocks coming off that bank. A little deeper bank. Got a little one. Got a tiny mite. Christopher is on the board with the bandit crankbait. And <laughs> it's a teeny tiny little dink of the week. It is a spot, actually. You'll save that one for the pitcher. Can you see him? Can Listen, you see him? They all can't be winners. Let's do that. Let's change over to the drop shot. Let's get the drop shot out and see if we can't get bit on it. If I can get it in the same place, I think the jig and the drop shot will work equally as well. I mean, they're both almost on the bottom. This is just right off the bottom. They just may not have as many ticks as a jig would. We'll take it. You got it? Yep, you got it. You're a little fella, but I'll take you. Ooh, I barely got you. I could tell by the way you were pecking it though you were small. Ooh boy. Fat, fat little suckers. Beep, 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 pop it. Boop. Maybe I'm finesse on on in the water and not so much putting a bite. Oh, 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 it's a big bite. Big bite. Please still have it. Yep, you still got it. No, God, dog it. Took my worm, that was a big bite. Gosh, that was a big bite. now oh. Oh. I got one on if he'll if he's holding it guy right through the top of the mouth little guy there we go little fella on the drop shot big ones little ones drop shot does it all all right guys so that's gonna do it for today we forgot we actually got two passengers everything I caught was on the little juicy or the little juicy is what it's called uh, it's a Guggen squad catch co collab 
Uh, this was on Okeechobee and then a uh, Carl's Amazing Baits um, little trailer there. So let's get these guys out. We've got one spot and we've got one largey. Uh, they're both. You got a 495 and a, I mean, yeah, 495. And a three something. Whoo, that was a fight. There we go. Can you tell which one's bigger? Uh, the one on the right. <laughs> there's, there's my day today on the, a little juicy. A little juicy. A little juicy catches not so little fish. So we're gonna let these guys go. All right, we're gonna let the spot go first. Our one-eyed spotted bass. There you go. There goes. Ooh. Now we're gonna let our big one go. All right, big girl. Big old green fish. She's waiting on her to let me know when she wants to go. Yeah, she's ready. There she goes. Well, how was it, Brett? Buddy, that was good. That was good. We did some finesse fishing with both the jigs. Did some drop shotting. Uh, I really like those those little those little jigs are, are really really good. If you want to check those out, you can get thirty percent off at Shop Carl's. Guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really appreciate y'all tuning in. We had another great day on the water. This pre-spawn bite is is just killing it right now. Um, if you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment below on future content you'd like to see. Um, and uh, as always, hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the ding dong notifications anytime you wanna be notified if, when we drop a new video. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, folks. Later.